Hey, what's up guys, Ryan Walker here. Just wanted to give you a quick tip on using the tilde key to navigate in your workspace a little faster and a little bit easier. So since it's a quick tip, let's just jump right in. Transition. All right, cool. So um, real quick, here's an example of a project that was handed off to me. And it's basically our job to sort of, you know, keep, continue the work, clean it up and uh, start working with it. So if you look, there are a ton of layers. It's a little unorganized. There's effects already open. So, you know, if I want to kind of clean this up, normally I would just twirl the arrows and kind of, you know, start seeing all the layers for itself. So let me give you three quick tips on how this is a little bit easier to work in. First off, I'm just going to push the tilde key on any open window. I'm going to get full screen on that, be able to see exactly, you know, what we're working in. Get, get some real estate and start working in this. And this is especially true when you're working on one screen, uh, like in this example. So instead of the full screen window, I'm gonna jump into the timeline here, make that full screen and kind of see what we're working with. So we got some layers twirl down, a lot of effects open, stuff like that. So the next thing I'm gonna do, if I just wanna clean it all up, I usually just sort of select one layer, control A, select all the layers. And if I do control tilde again, it expands them all. I can see what I work with. But if I do it one more time, control tilde cleans it up like that. Now I'm starting to buy myself a lot more real estate here and be able to see the project a bit better. Last quick tip for today is let's jump into, here's an example of this layer, has a lot of effects on it. Um, as we can see, there's all kinds of different things here. Stroke, transform properties, uh, fast blur. And it's the same sort of step. I just kind of select one layer, control A, and then control tilde to uh, bring all our effects down so we can see what we're working with. And it works with individual effects as well. If I just want to select levels, control tilde, it scrolls down all the properties so I can kind of see uh, what I'm working with and how easy it is to uh, uh, see all the properties inside. So that was just a quick tip on how to use the tilde key in After Effects to kind of uh, work faster, organize your project and kind of see what's going on, especially if it's a nightmare like this with a, with a lot of layers and a lot of effects. So have a good one until next time. We'll see you then.